We begin with a first step toward healing for survivors of the Bay Area's deadliest mass shooting. Chopper 5 over the VTA light rail yard in San Jose, where crews started demo demolishing Building B. That's where six employees were killed in a shooting rampage last May. Three other workers were killed in a different area of that facility where the VTA has its control center for bus and rail operations, as well as a vehicle storage and maintenance yard. KPX 5's Len Ramirez is live with more on how the demolition has helped those still coping with this tragedy. Len. Well, this is such a quiet corner of the county government center. It's hard to imagine all of the death and the carnage that was taking place just steps away from where I am right now. Now, almost a year after this happened, the place where it all began is about to be wiped clean. On the west side of VTA's Guadalupe Light Rail Yard, Building B is going down under the force of wrecking crews. Demolition began this afternoon on the building where 57-year-old Samuel James Cassidy began his murder spree on the morning of May 26, 2021. Cassidy shot and killed nine of his co-workers before turning the gun on himself as sheriff's deputies and police closed in on him. The victims, who range in age from 29 to 63 years old, were all VTA employees. Survivors said Cassidy picked and chose his victims, letting some walk free and shooting down others. Six of them died inside Building B. Three others were killed nearby in Building A, which is still operational. The decision to demolish Building B came after months of anguish for the shooting survivors. One man who witnessed the horrific scene committed suicide after returning to work at the rail yard last August. And Len, you were one of the early reporters on that scene after the shooting. I can only imagine it's a bit surreal today. Yeah, it is a bit surreal and it's uh, very sad. I have to admit that I... Uh, got a little emotional coming back here. I haven't really spent time here since this happened. And, you know, you think about the victims, the nine victims who came to work that day uh, and were just gunned down ruthlessly. And you think about the uh, sheriff's deputies. One of them just walked by us as he was going into work, uh, the sheriff's deputies, because the department is right across the street. And uh, they heard about the shooting and came running over here and formed up teams with uh, San Jose police and others uh, to go into that building where the active shooter was ongoing. Obviously, uh, they did not have a shootout because the shooter took his own life in there. But uh, you think about the courage, you think about the s sadness, and you think about the victims. And despite the fact that uh, this building will be wiped away, I think a lot of people who will remember this, we'll always think of those victims and what happened here almost one year ago. Yeah, it's just a sad and tragic day. Okay, thank you very much. Lev Ramirez reporting live in San Jose.